What up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. This is Blue Flying Scorpion Moon Goddess. I hope all of my BFFs out there are doing well. If some of you guys haven't taken the time to subscribe to my to my channel, please take the time to subscribe so that you can become a member of uh, this BFF family, this Blue Flying family. Okay, Scorpio, so we're going to start off with some Moonology, and then we're going to pull some tarot and see what messages Spirit has for you guys. So what messages do you have from the Scorpio today, Spirit? What messages do you have for my Scorpios? All right. Start off with these. So the first card we have here is nothing will come of this situation. Void of course, Moon. So Scorpio, there is some type of situation or maybe something that you've been holding on to. Possibly dealing with someone or it could be a job, a relationship. You know, someone in particular, the spirit is saying here, you know, nothing's going to come of this situation, not how you want it to. So, you know, Scorpio, sometimes we have issues with control or we want to control the outcomes of situation. But I feel like whatever this situation that you've been waiting on or whatever this situation that you're trying to maybe possibly control the outcome of, it's like nothing's going to come of this situation. So, spirit just wants you to be, leave that shit dead and gone. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, if you walked away from somebody, if you're not talking to someone, if you feel like... You shouldn't be dealing with certain people and stuff. It's like nothing's going to come into, nothing's going to come out the situation. So the more you put in it, the more you're going to get left with nothing, okay? Then we have expect a powerful change, new moon eclipse. So y'all know we got this black moon coming up Saturday. And then what we got here, this black moon here. So there could be some type of power, a powerful change that's going to happen possibly dealing with this situation but it's like you have to let it go because it's like when you continue to hold on to a situation it's like if something is supposed to come out of it i don't give a damn if you feel like oh this is my person or this is what's supposed to be that could be true scorpio but at the same time sometimes you have to learn to release and let go and so whatever's supposed to happen can unfold. It's like as long as you're holding on to this energy and not wanting to let go of this person, place, or thing, it's like you're not going to be able to allow whatever changes that need to happen, okay? Then we have here a fiery climax approaches, full moon and Aries. So some of you guys could be dealing with the Aries or a fire sign here, but it's like there's going to be a fiery climax that approaches, and I feel like this has something to do with this powerful change that's going to happen but it's like until you let go of this energy scorpio nothing is going to come of this situation so whatever scorpio that you've been holding on whether it be someone from your past someone currently it's like nothing is going to come of that situation until you learn to let go you have to fully let go and let me explain some scorpio because i didn't understand that shit either like i'm you know on the twin flame journey and it's like you know i kept hearing about i was gonna have to let go i was like well how if i let go like how is this supposed to work out but it's like, if, you know, if something is meant to be, if you're meant to be with someone or if something is meant to happen to you, Scorpio, then it's like, it's going to happen. But as long as you stay in that energy and try to control it, you're not allowing for anything. You're not allowing for any changes to come your way. Let's pull some tarot here and clarify exactly what messages Spirit are trying to tell us at this time. What messages do you have my Scorpios at this time, Spirit? Okay, so we have the Seven of Swords, but this came out in reverse. So this could be Libra, Gemini. Can y'all see that? Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that you could be dealing with. With this Seven of Swords, you know, the Seven of Swords talks about someone being sneaky and deceptive and lying and cheating and doing all stealing, doing all type of shit. So I feel like in the past, if you were dealing with someone that was in this energy of being sneaky, they was lying, stealing, that, you know, you couldn't trust this person. And it's like, you kept holding on to this energy. Nothing's going to come with this situation. You have to let this situation, you have to let this energy go. But with this card being in reverse, I feel like there's going to be some type of truth that's going to come out. It could be from an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it's like, whatever, if you've been waiting on some type of truth, possibly from someone or about a situation, there is some type of truth that's going to come out. And you possibly can get some type of an apology from this person that was lying, this person that was stealing, this person that was being deceptive, this person that was being sneaky, the person that, you know, could have been hiding a lot from you, this person could want to come in and tell you the truth, because remember, we have a fiery climax approaches, expect a powerful change, 
So in the past, this person may not want to be honest with you. You know, they can want to keep on doing what the fuck they was doing. But now, this person could be going through some changes. And now, they're going to want to come in and speak their truth. Then the next card we have here is the Hermit. So I feel like either you or this person that you have been dealing with, both of you guys have been in Hermit mode. Both of you guys have kind of been to yourself and kind of going within. This could be a Virgo, you know, that you're dealing with here. But I feel like if this is someone who is wanting to make some type of return to you guys or want to make, you know, something right here, I feel like this person, they had to go into Hermit mode in order to self-reflect on the, the ways that they were being deceptive, the ways they were lying, the ways they were cheating, the ways they were stealing, the ways they were hurting you. It's like this person had to go into harmony mode, one, to heal from any past traumas or anything that they've been going through. Because I feel like however this person treated you, it was some shit that they was like projecting on you. You know what I'm saying? This person felt like this person could have been lied to or been deceived or cheated on. You know what I'm saying? So it's like whatever action was done to them, Scorpio, this is the same thing that they did to you. But I said this person had to go into harmony mode. This person had to take time to self-reflect and think about the things that they've done so they can come back, Scorpio, and maybe make some changes here. This could be someone in the past who was not giving you an equal give and take with this Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who could have been breadcrumbing you. Why? Because they possibly could have been given to other people. It's like if you can't take the time to give all your energy, all your time and affection and love to one person, it must be because you're giving it to other people. So it's like um, this person, they could have just been giving you enough because they were dealing with other people here in the Seven of Swords. So this person, they could have been Dealing with other people and the reason why they couldn't, you know, give you everything because hell, they were trying to bridge from other people. Then we have this page of wands. Like I said, this could be a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But I feel like this is someone who has a lot of passion because, you know, wands has to do like with, with, with passion and energy. So I feel like some of you guys could get some type of message possibly from this person that realizing, you know, that they have to, they have to make some type of change. And you know what I'm saying? They have to change or or do something differently in order to um to come back into you guys someone who possibly could be thinking about a relationship you know or you could just be wanting to explore your options also with this page of pentacles maybe you don't want to deal with this shit no more all right scorpio that's all i have for you guys if something resonated please don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment scorpio and until next time stay blessed guys